Doing good, I'm your host Jason and welcome to my appointment review and tutorial. Appointment is one of the most popular scheduling platforms around and with it you can get started for completely free and you'll be able to start scheduling meetings in no time. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. It is quick and easy to use even if you're a complete beginner. All you'll need to do is go onto appointlet.com. Once on the platform, you're going to tap on start for free. After you have tapped on start for free, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can choose to either sign up with Google, sign up with Office 365, or you can simply enter your first, last name, email address, and create a password. For this example, I will be using Google to sign up. So all I'll need to do is select my Google account. Then from there, I'm just going to tap on continue. After you have tapped on continue, you'll be redirected to your new appointment dashboard. So once on the dashboard, as you can see right here, all you need to do now, you can go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you could tap on pages. After you have tapped on pages, you'll be redirected to this page. And at the moment, you can see scheduling just for you. Once on this page, what I want you to do next is you can go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on new meeting type. After you have selected new meeting type, from there, you can either select class or group meeting and you can also give the meeting a name right there. So we're just going to give it name test and you can see that I'm provided with a free URL. After you have done that, you can tap on create meeting type. Once you have tapped on create meeting type, you can see it right here. Now all you'll need to do is tap on the three dots and you're going to tap on edit. After tapping on edit, from here you can set up the duration of the meeting. So let's say for example, I would like to change it to 45 minutes. So I'm going to type in 45 right there and I'm going to select minutes. After you have done that, you can select the location. So you can see no location specified is automatically selected. You can choose we'll meet at a place and you can enter the location address right there. You can select we'll meet on a phone call and from there you could enter the phone number. You can also select meet on web conferences or better web conference. And from there you can select either Google Meet, Zoom, Go to meeting or any one of the other options as you can see right there. You can also tap on availability and from here you could set up the times that you are available or the dates. So for example, let's say I will be available from Monday to Wednesday. So I'll simply delete Thursday and Friday and I'm also going to change the time from 9 to 5 to instead 9 to 3. So I'll tap right where you see 5 p.m. And I'm going to change it to 3 p.m. So let's do that real quick. You can tap right there and you can change it. It is as easy as this to set up the available time and to set up your schedule in. So I'm going to change it to 3 p.m. Once you have done that, you can tap on intake form. So is it a case that you'd like to collect person's first and last name and email address? Or would you like to ask persons another question before they can sign up for a meeting with you? If you would like to add another question, you can tap on add another question. Then from there, you could type in the question that you would like to ask right there. After you're finished doing that, you can tap on scheduling rules. At the moment, you can see it is required notice right here. Prevent users from booking you without enough notice or too much notice. So for example, you can set it up so that someone would have to notify you an hour before booking you and you can set up the maximum notice time. So this means that would you like to allow persons to have up to 90 days so they can book you three months in advance. You can do this so you can either cut this down or increase it. You can also add buffer time if you want where you'll be able to take a break or so on. And you can also set up the maximum amount of meetings that you'll allow per day. You can see that you can also edit the cancellation policy as you can see right here if you would like to offer a cancellation policy. You can tap on notifications and if you go up to their paid plan, and by the way, their paid plan is quite affordable. 
as it starts off at $8 per month and you can see that you'll get numerous features. You'll be able to send automated reminders, manually confirm bookings, collect payment, pre-fill form fields, and redirect after booking. And you can also integrate different CRM and SMS marketing platforms. So their paid plans are quite affordable. So you'll get the access to reminder emails and so on if you were to upgrade. And you'll also see that with payments right there, you'll be able to connect PayPal and you can also connect Stripe as you can see right here. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, you want to ensure that you have selected publish. Then you're going to tap on save changes. After you have tapped on save changes, if it is a case that you would like to start sharing it, all you'll need to do is tap on share. Then from here, you can choose to either copy the link or you can choose to embed it on a website if you have your website. You can also share it on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or by copying the link, you'll be able to share it on whichever social platform you want. And by going over to the left hand menu option once more, I could tap on members. Then from here, you could invite team members by tapping on invite members in the top right hand corner, then entering their email address and tap on invite members. And if we were to select settings from the bottom left hand corner right here, from here, you can edit your email and password if you want. You can also tap on general settings and you could upload a profile pic by tapping right here. You could upload a profile pic. You can also choose your brand color, then tap on save changes. And when it comes on to billing and invoices, remember that we haven't added a payment method because we are on the free plan. If you were to go up to their paid plan, you could tap on add payment method right here. And then from there, you could connect your Stripe or so on. And you can also view your invoices in the future. And you can also sync different form of calendars. So for example, you can sync your Google Calendar. You can also sync your Office 365 as you can see right there. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, that's it. So as you can see, with a point light, it is quite easy to use. It is beginner friendly and it also offers numerous features on their free plan. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.